All right, so announcements for next week. It's Friday, September 16th. So just a couple logistical notes. We will meet in BERTS for the rest of the semester. So both 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. sections uh, will meet there. Uh, please check the emails to find your group. Find your group when you arrive uh, and get to work. So uh, that's where we are. The classrooms that we were assigned that are visible on the hub, we're not going to use them. We're going to be in BERTS. Um, we're going to try reducing the speed at which we shuffle groups to just once per week. thought this might help you guys get to know each other a little better, um, while at the same time making sure that you meet a lot of people in the class. So you'll receive a new group assignment on Monday, and then we'll reuse the same group assignment on Wednesday uh, for Wednesday's activity. Um, we're going to order some numbers for the tables in BERTS to help you find your groups and make sure that you're at the right table. We've had some issues with people um, swapping and things like that, and then it becomes difficult for the, for the TAs to find you and make sure that they know where their assigned groups are. This is particularly a problem in the upper part of BERTS, but we're going to order some table numbers so in the future it'll be a little bit easier to find, um, find your group and find your table. Okay, so uh, we've released the routing videos. Those are up on the website. Um, so please, you know, get started watching them. There are two groups of routing videos. The first group is due, um, you can see I'm way behind with my videos. Uh, the first group is due on uh, two, on Sunday. So they're, sorry, they're down here. Uh, the first group of nine, it looks like 10, is due on Sunday at midnight. And then the second group of nine is due on uh, Tuesday. And that's going to be the rhythm that we're going to get into for the rest of the semester. So in general, the videos for uh, a week will be released on Wednesday. You'll have till Sunday to watch the first half and then till Tuesday to watch the second half. Um, that makes sure that, you know, by the time you come to class on Wednesday, you've seen all the material. And by the time you go to recitations on Thursday and Friday, you've seen all the material. So those two days are the ones that we'll stick to pretty much throughout the rest of the semester, unless it's like Thanksgiving week or something like that. Okay, so we'll probably send one more recitation reminder email next week with time, location, and then that's it. So uh, if you haven't been attending recitation, please contact us or post in the form. Um, we're assuming people are going to their recitation. At some point, we may start tracking attendance for recitations. Uh, the recitation is a really critical part of this class. It's your chance to ask questions. It's your chance to interact with a faculty member in a smaller group. So, so please go to them, and if you don't know which one you're assigned, please let us know. Um, but but we've been reminding you on a regular basis. Um, all right, let's just talk a little bit more logistics, and then we'll talk uh, just a few sort of uh, postmortems for the protocol assignment. So everyone needs to get VirtualBox installed and working on your machine. If you're having issues with that, this is a particularly a problem for people using Windows machines. Please come to office hours, post on the forum, um, try Googling around the error messages you get and see if there are some, um, some suggestions or solutions. We're going to release a new appliance today, and that new appliance is going to be 32-bit by default. Uh, you can delete the old one, regardless of which one that you install. Please delete the old one. But by you know, the end of next week, we really need everybody in the class um, to have VirtualBox installed and to have our image running uh, successfully on your machine. So I know there are issues with getting this to work on Windows in certain situations. Um, there's a lot of advice online, and we can certainly help you with that as well. The TAs can help you with that. So, you know, post on the forums, come to office hours, um, maybe, you know, linger after class one day and, and find a, a TA to help you. Uh, but everyone needs to get VirtualBox installed and working. And this is a useful tool. This is something that you'll use in the future as well. So it's worth the, uh, worth the time and energy. So Wednesday's protocol assignment was the first time that we asked you to do something in, you know, like, like a computer scientist might do, right, at the, at the command line. Um, and, and we were really happy with how the assignment went. You know, I think some people found it frustrating. That's okay. That was kind of the point. The idea of writing these sort of requests by hand is a little bit frustrating. Um, a lot of you guys may have never used the command line before. You may have never used Linux before or Telnet. Uh, you may have never opened the Chrome developer tools. So... We're trying to introduce you guys are new, you guys are freshmen, we get it, you know. Uh, we're trying to get you bootstrapped here. We're trying to introduce you to some really, really useful tools. Um, these tools, particularly Chrome, the developer tools, and the terminal, I mean, this is really all you need. I want to emphasize this, you know. If you have a computer with a browser and a terminal, you can create anything. You could create new websites, you can build million dollar businesses. That's really all that a good computer scientist needs to get pretty much everything that they might want to do done. Computer engineers might need to move things. They're actually building hardware. But a computer scientist, if you're building software, if you have a terminal and a browser, 
right? The browser helps you find information. The terminal is the way that you can edit code and run programs and things like that. But those are really two of the power tools that every computer science needs to become really, really familiar with. If you're not as familiar with the command line, uh, it's time to get started. So we'll be helping you throughout the semester. The assignments throughout the semester are going to sort of fall into this rhythm where, um, and I'm not promising we're going to stick with this every every time, but Monday's activity is going to be a little bit more conceptual, uh, may involve writing or reading or doing some thinking or you know, manipulating some objects or something like that. And then Wednesday, we're going to have um, you guys do things in this Linux virtual box image using the command line or Chrome or other tools. Um, so next week, for example, you know, on Monday, we're going to do a routing activity that's going to involve you guys playing with marshmallows. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do a uh, routing activity that's going to involve you guys using Traceroute and some other uh, routing tools to actually look at how packets are routed on the internet and the path that data follows from one place on the earth to another. So, um, so, so again, I mean, we're, the goal here is to give you lots of practice, lots of introduction to these tools. We don't expect you guys to be familiar with them. So please, you know, ask questions. Um, it's also really important that you guys make sure that you all have a chance to drive and, and uh, you know, do things during the assignment. So, you know, one of the things about classes like this, people come in with a variety of different backgrounds. So, you know, if you're more familiar with some of these environments, please make sure that, you know, you're helping the other people in your group get started. So don't just take over and do everything. Make sure they're typing, make sure they're, you know, interacting with things. Um, this is a chance for everybody to learn, get familiar um, with how to do this stuff. The nice thing about the virtual box, as I've emphasized before, is that, you know, there's nothing you can do inside there that's going to damage your machine. So play around, experiment. If you type something wrong, not the end of the world. If you, you know, remove every file in that virtual machine, it still doesn't matter. You can download the image again, reinstall it, and you're good to go. So this is a great sort of sandbox. Uh, sort of a playground for you guys to try things, um, you know, not only for this class, but for other classes. So, so that's it for this week. Um, really looking forward to seeing you guys next week doing some routing stuff. Uh, enjoy the routing videos. Routing is, is, is pretty interesting. Um, and we have some great activities for you guys to work on next week. So we will see you then. Um, please, you know, come stop by my office hours. They're starting, you know, I'm going to post this and then I'm going to be in the lab. Uh, so if you have problems with VirtualBox or just want to chat, stop by. Um, go to the office hours for the other members of the course staff. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend.